Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR NET June 2018 and we are doing this problem 46 of the section B. It's a problem of calculus of variation. Let us have a look. Consider JY functional, alright, so it is integral 0 to 1 y dash whole square plus 2 y dx subject to the condition y of 0 is equal to 0, y of 1 is equal to 1, then infimum of jy is. So you have these options in your hand. So what I will do? So firstly, the basic thing that you have done in calculus of variation, the Euler-Lagrange equation. So that is what I am going to use. Using Euler-Lagrange equation, we will find out extremals for this function jy. So what is the meaning of extremal? It means that the function that we will be calculating can be maximum as well as it can be minimum. So we don't have an exact answer that whether it is maximum or whether it is minimum. So this question has a little catch there. All right. So let us now proceed. Then we will understand what I am talking about. So see, this is Euler-Lagrange equation. So if we have this jy is equal to this, then this equation actually give us extremals. All right. So extremal actually means it can be max as well as it can be minimum. So we don't know where, what exactly it is, but we know that it will be extremal. So now let us apply this on our problem. So what is our f x y y dash? It is y dash whole square plus 2y so if you will apply uh, this equation what you will get uh, 2 minus d by dx of 2y dash all right this is what you will get so d by dx of 2y dash actually means 2 minus 2y double dash so it means y double dash is 1 now because y double dash is 1, you can easily find out by just integrating. So if you will integrate it, what you will get? y dash is equal to x plus some constant. So let us uh, write c1. Again, integrate what you will get? y is equal to x plus, sorry, x square by 2 plus c1x plus c2. All right, so this is the y that you are getting. Now you have y of 0 barabar 0 and you have y of 1 is equal to 1. Now see, using this condition, if you will place it here, you will get what? Using this, you will get c2 is equal to 0. All right, so 0 is equal to c2. Now using this, what you will get? you will get c1 1 by 2 just place these conditions it's very easy all right i'm not going to explain it so that implies that y is x square by 2 plus x by 2 now it means that this y is going to all right obtain maximal or minimal for this jy are you getting my point so it will be a extremal you don't know so when you will place y is equal to x square by 2 plus x by 2 in this functional what you will get you will get a extremal for this functional you don't know what it is you don't know whether it is a maxima whether it is a minima but it will be something all right so now let us firstly evaluate and then we will uh, conclude what it is all right so now see this is what we will get two times of y I have written and just differentiate it you will get x plus 1 by 2 so when you will evaluate it I'm not going to show you the calculation part of this integration it's very easy all right just evaluate it and find out so you will get 23 by 12 as your answer so by putting this thing in this j you are getting 23 by 12 now this thing can be max as well as it can be min right we don't know what it is but now see assume that y is equal to x square by 2 plus x by 2 is maxima for this j let us assume this now see 
I will choose this function y is equal to x. Now this function satisfies y0 is equal to 0. Yes, it satisfies. It satisfies y is equal to 1. Yes, it satisfies. So it satisfies these two initial condition. So if you will find out this thing at y is equal to x, what you are getting? y dash so y dash will be 1 so 1 plus 2 sorry 2x all right now what you will get you will get uh, you will get x plus 2x square by 2 so if you will uh, place the limit over here what you will get 1 plus uh, 1 all right so yeah everything is fine so you are getting 2 are you getting my point what it is it's 23 by 12 so it is less than 2 so now what you have assumed is this that this is maxima all right maximal for j maximal for j means when you are putting this y inside your j this is going to be maxima but see i have another y which satisfies these two conditions but it is getting you 2 which is greater than this so how can this be maxima if there is a there is a function by which we are getting more value than this value are you getting my point or not so what we are getting over here is a contradiction contradiction to what to the assumption that it is maxima are you getting my point so that means that it will be minima we know that it is either minima or it is maxima all right we don't know it exactly but using this thing we can actually show that it will be the minima are you getting my point so what will be the infimum of jy it's 23 by 12 so why i was doing all of this because just finding out 23 by 12 you have no idea whether it is infimum or it is supremum maybe it can happen that it's supremum and your answer will be does not exist for this problem are you getting my point so that is why i did this part so if you have any query regarding this problem you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other problem you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you